Hey, what's up? My name is Brent Pierce with Cineblur.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at, at a pretty cool but simple technique that allows you to add realistic background objects in your footage. So we have this uh, little video that we shot with a lady talking into the camera. A lot of people call these talking heads because it's a head that is talking. And uh, as you can see, there's this blank white wall behind her. So what we're going to do, we're going to utilize this wall and add the company's logo on that wall to make it seem like it was like a plaque that's really there. And we're going to make it seem like it's actually there. So it, it, it can't look animated and it can't look fake at all. If it does, then it completely defeats the purpose of what we're doing. So we're going to add the logo. I have the company's logo right here. That's giant. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, scale it down. It looks a lot like the Triforce from Zelda. That's because it is the Triforce. And uh, let's add the company's name below it. And they're called something, I don't know, High Hyrule Enterprise. How about that? And of course, it's in Trajan Pro. And let's add it right there. Scale it up a little bit. And that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and pre-comp this, so I'm only dealing with one logo layer. And yeah, now we're good. So let's get to work. So I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. That's a little too large. And so it would probably be, you know, somewhere like there, maybe like head high, somewhere right there. And um, now let's add some effects and let's get to it. Where's my effects? There's my effects. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a ramp to kind of make it seem like it was like this glass mirror texture. And if you look, uh, the key light on her face was coming from our left. It was coming from this side. Um, the key light was about right here, hitting her on this side, and then this side was the fill side. So we're going to make the bright side of this logo seem like it's bouncing from the left to the right. So let's uh, put the white side there, and let's put the black side down there for starts. That's looking pretty good. One thing I'm also going to do, instead of white and black, I'm going to choose the colors of this footage. So this camera has kind of a green hue to it. So I'm going to select this color selector and just select the color of the wall. And then I'm going to adjust the color. So we have this hue. This is the hue of the wall. I'm going to just make it brighter and desaturate it just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with the black. So I'm going to go ahead and just select that color and then make it really dark. So it blends in with the footage a little bit better. So instead of just being black like that, it has a little bit of that hue in it. Something like that. I think I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more. Something like that. All right, cool. So now we're going to add a drop shadow. That's also very important because if it's like a plaque, then the light is going to be casting a shadow around it. Drop shadow. Throw that on there. And that honestly looks pretty good. I'm going to bring up the softness a little bit. And if you look at this lamp, this lamp over here over on our shoulder has a drop shadow as well. So if you kind of use that as reference, that'll give you a little bit of an idea. And also instead of black, I'm also going to use that that color that we chose a second ago. So it has a, a little bit of green hue to it. And I'm going to bring my opacity pretty far down. It's a bright room, so there wasn't a whole lot of shadows being casted. I'm going to soften it up a little bit more. Something like that. Okay. That is looking pretty good. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that we put it over here. Um, and so it's directly in the line of sight. So nothing's getting in the way. For instance, if we try to put it behind her, we would have to deal with rotoscoping out her face and rotoscoping her shoulder every time she moved. And it would just not be an easy viable option. Um, unless the wall is like blue or green and you could chroma key it out, um, then I would definitely like put it over here where it's out of the way, something like that. So um, there it is. Now we're going to add one of the last touches. We're going to blur it and knock it out of focus. The easiest way to do this is to add a lens blur, not a lens flare, but a lens blur. Add it and then get this blur radius. And we're just going to kind of work it up until, until it looks good. And again, I'm going to use the actual stuff as reference, like the lamp and the lines right here as reference. Um, so that's... That's looking pretty good. We're at 13 right now. I'm going to go to 15. So that's looking pretty good. On this ramp, I'm going to adjust the bright side. I'm going to pull it out a little bit because it's almost a little too bright. 
and I'm going to blur it a little bit more, actually. Now that I look at it, I'm going to go to, like, 19. No, let's do 18. Yeah, 18. All right, cool. Um, another little technique, you could drop your opacity of it. As long as your wall is a solid color, um, it'll blend those colors a little bit. If it's a pattern, it might look a little funky because it'll, it'll start to show the pattern on the wall. So I'm going to bring my opacity down to about 75. And, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. Um, so when you add your color correction and your color grade at the end, it'll really tie it all together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer. Um, I, I did Command Option Y to add a new adjustment layer. And then I'm going to color correct it. I've already made a LUT for this just to save time. Apply color LUT. And then I'm gonna apply it and then I'm gonna find my color LUT that I made earlier. And then boom, it's looking pretty good and that looks looks pretty natural honestly I would definitely bring in a second set of eyes to look at it someone who doesn't really know that it's fake and see if they notice it if if they look at it and they're like hey it looks great the image looks great um, then you're in the clear but if they look at it and they're like oh well the logo is obviously fake then you got some work to do uh, but anyways this is a good technique to use uh, if you want to kind of you know spice up your background a little bit you could add like a poster or a painting back here and make it seem natural just make it seem like a more of a fancy house maybe or you could add a TV or you could add an image on the TV and play something back so it's one of those little tools that you need to keep in your After Effects arsenal so when you go to shoot you could kind of get an idea you'd be like hey we could use that wall for something so let's shoot it a certain way so we can kind of plan for that visual effect to add later. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. You guys have a fantastic day.